What's going on, guys? Um, I wasn't going to do this today, so I'm sick. I feel like shit. Um, I just had a laser tattoo removal treatment done also. But uh, I got a busy weekend. Uh, Royal Rumble's here in Philly this weekend, so I don't know when I would have had time to do it. So, um, we're going to get it done today. I've been waiting a very long time for this. I know a couple people that just jumped on this. Um, like last year, it was back up for order because a lot of people canceled due to all the delays. Um, but I pre-ordered this day one. Um, and I've been riding it out since. So that was uh, almost three and a half years ago. Um, so that is uh, 41, 41 months, so that 177 weeks. So this is the longest I've ever waited for something. Uh, it is the first uh, third scale that I ordered and I haven't got another one yet. So I'm not really sure what to expect from the size. Um, I do have some half scales. Uh, but this is my first uh, third scale. Um, so on to the box. Um, they have the styrofoam corners. And there's basically just nothing in between the art box and um, the shipper. Uh, Prime One Studios, they're the best with packing. Um, they fill all the spaces with foam. And I've never had a problem with anything, but when you do just the foam corners, you're almost guaranteed to have damage. My uh, main box here has a hole in it, and the hole went through to the styrofoam, and it was stuck. I couldn't even get the art box off. Um, but all right, let's get started. This is, uh, I got 142 or 150. This is limited to... 150 and I think they did um, Five or ten artist proofs, so you got about 160 of them out there <clears throat> So both of these are the same um, nice art box This one's uh, okay the one of the corners is damaged. I don't know how the fuck you damage a corner with styrofoam corners. They had to throw this thing off of the fucking second floor. But if you've ever seen a delivery guy handle packages, they just don't give a fuck. Has the addition size on the bottom. Art box is pretty much identical. Um, as the full statue here, I think it had just an upper part there, but here, this damage came all the way through the shipper, and it was actually stuck in the styrofoam, and I couldn't pull it out, but, um, hopefully the statue's okay. I haven't looked at it yet. Alright, so, the statue's not as heavy as some statues I've got. Uh, but the base is pretty heavy. Just basic. I could have did a better job with that. Yeah, it's got some weight. It's kind of weird because it's heavier on one side. It's a pretty cool base. 
I did have um, my life-size bus. I actually just sold it as the fifth time I had it. Uh, but I think uh, hopefully this will hold me off and I won't get the itch to buy it again. But um, I had a life-size bus for years. Uh, my first sideshow piece I actually purchased was the legendary scale bust. I had uh, Darkness and uh, Meg Mucklebones. That's the two pieces that got me into collecting. Before this, I was just collecting action figures. Um, I did get the premium, the sideshow premium format, and um, I opened it, looked at it. I didn't really like it at all. I don't know why. It might have been one of my first uh, mixed media statues at the time that I got it, but um, I got rid of it right away. So um, I kind of, I don't know what to expect here, but I, I hope I like it. Okay, so the horns are in here. I'm not gonna take them out first. Um, so we'll put these aside and get the statue set up. Um, yeah, I'll get them set up on here. So we can get some 360 views. bigger than I expected. Not a lot bigger, but he's definitely bigger than what I was expecting. So I guess the easiest way there is to lift, like I did, from the peg on the bottom and then you kind of get your hand under his back once he starts lifting up. So, so far, this is pretty fucking badass. Um, he's not as skinny as he looks in some of the photos. Um, I used to watch this movie every day when I was like 10. Um, I haven't seen it in a while. I wanted to watch it, try and watch it before I got this. Um, but I tried to watch it like a year ago and I got through like a half hour of it. Um, but I'm, I'm, I definitely want to watch it again. But uh, I did look, uh, do some research on some pictures and I seen, um, I mean, Tim Curry was in a bodysuit, but it was, it was kind of muscular, but some of the, some of the pictures that I seen, it wasn't as defined as the muscles are on here. Um, but that, that won't bother me too much. I'll mess with all that stuff later. So this is the, the staff, top of the staff. Where's the staff? Okay.
All right, so there is a kind of a dimple in um, the base where this would go, where it would sit. I don't want to mess this up here. Um, let me look at this first because it did come with instructions. So it came with the gloves, the uh, cheap cardboard CLA, and some instructions. Locate magnets. Locate magnets located in the edge of the cape. Okay, so there's a magnet in the cape. Edge of the cape, it says. Magnet. I don't see a magnet unless this thing is fucking backwards. Alright. Okay. So here's the magnet. Magnet connects the corresponding bracer on wrist. What the fuck? Okay. So I don't see it. Oh, I do see it. Okay. All right. The cape's pretty cool. It's kind of see-through. Alright, and that's it. It doesn't show you how to put the staff in. So, you're on your own here. Let's see if my ceiling is high enough. Barely. Okay. I don't like doing this. A couple of pieces that are like this because uh, I mean I just feel this sliding through the paint I'm completely against this but the hand is closed there's no other way to do it okay so that kind of just sits in that dimple there Back to the horns. <clears throat> These have some weight to them. Okay, so okay, so the uh, connectors. I'm not really sure what you would call these. The pegs. They're slightly uh, different shapes, so you can kind of see uh, which one is which. Good magnets there, shouldn't have a problem with them. does have the unicorn horn molded into his belt area. I thought that was going to be separate. Yeah, this is this is fucking awesome. Now I did the full pay on this. So like I said, it's my first third scale. Um, the full pay, he was $9.99. If you pay in full, 
you get 20% um, off. So I'll mess around with this later. So this was uh, $7.99. It's a hell of a fucking piece for $7.99. Limited to 150 Get you guys some close-ups here. Now the lighting down here is not great. Try and get on a better angle. I'll go over him a little um, more after I get this all done. I'll make sure he's got no damage. But I am fucking 100% satisfied with this. I think a lot of people are going to be pissed off that they canceled this. Um, let me take this off the stand here. There's only 150 of these. So if you canceled, man, I think they killed it. And I, I've been looking at this guy for three and a half years, so... I've seen a couple videos already, a couple pictures. He does look skinny. He's a little skinnier than I would think he's supposed to be, but he does not look as skinny as he's he seems in the photos, even the production photos and some videos. Um, I know a lot of people had an issue with the pose, but I mean, that's the character. I think they... They fucking killed it on this one. I am I'm glad I stuck it out. They did a great job with the mixed media here. Man, he looks so good. And I know the lighting sucks down here. The cape's kind of see-through, which I think is cool. I don't really remember what his cape looked like in the movie. Killed it. The piece is kind of like snakes and uh, people, snakes and bodies, and then some leaves. I'm not sure the significance of these, but they were. I remember something similar on the. Uh, the base of the life-size bust. Alright, that should about do it. Um, like I said, this piece is fucking killer. Sorry if you passed on it, but I think you're going to be pissed off. They did a killer job on this. Fingernails are pretty cool. Alright guys. As always. Got any questions. Just drop a comment. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Alright guys. Thanks again.